friends, uh, Bobby Bullock here with Fox Sports North. Today we are going to play a little trivia with our good friends from St. John's University and St. Thomas, who I know know each other pretty well. I'm Dom Nussmeyer. I'm a defensive lineman for St. John's. I'm from Mankato, Minnesota. Uh, my name is Sam Goley. I live in South St. Paul, but for high school I went to St. Thomas Academy, and I play O-line for the Tommies. You guys ready? It's all good. First question. In what year was the first Tommy Johnny matchup? All right, so Dom's going with 1901, and Sam is going with- 1901. All right, these boys must have done their studying because 1901 is correct. All right, so we're t we tied that one. Number two. How many total matchups has St. John's and St. Thomas had? How many total matchups? Are you ready? All right. 70, Sam's gonna go with 70. Dom, you're gonna go with 89. All right, the correct answer is 89. Dom, you're on the board. Ooh, All right, brutal. no worries, Sam, we got lots of questions left. Next question. How many off-campus stadiums hosted Johnny Tommy games? Four, two. All right, correct answer was three. Uh, oh. So no one gets that point. Half point. All right, so Dom, you're at one. Sam, this is your chance to get on board. I'm feeling it, here we go. What was the lowest scoring game in the history of your rival? So I'm looking for a final score. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's, let's hear your answers. All right, so Dom's going seven six. Sam's going four. Four to zero. zero. All right, I think Sam's gonna get on the board this time. Lowest scoring game was zero zero in nineteen thirty five. Now we got a game here. Number five. In the last ten years, what is the most points a team has scored in a Tommy Johnny game? What's the whole score? Yep. I remember this one. I think. I think I have it. Oh, oh no. Sam, you're feeling this. You might get some momentum. All right, let's see your answers, boys. All right. Sam's going 63-7. Yeah. Dom's going 42-21. Sam, you're making a comeback. It was 63-7. Yep. St. Thomas beat St. John's in 2011. Okay. Sam, all right. Two to one, Dom. It's all right. Okay, this you guys have both played in this last one. This past year, in 2019, the Tommy Johnny game drew one of its biggest crowds. How many people were at that game? Again, we'll do closest number wins. I hope we can see this one. All right, let's see the answers, guys. Dom's going 19,467. Guys, you guys are making this tough on me. Sam, you're going 19,508. Dom, got that one. Guys, that was really close. So the correct answer was 19,400. Right on. So right now it's 2-2. Two, two. Going into number seven, we're gonna talk about the Mayak Conference a little bit. Mayak Conference has been around for over 120 years. How many combined Mayak titles have your two schools won? Sam's going 57 and Dom's going 52. Craig's answer was 55 titles, the two combined, so that means Sam. You got, you were closer. That was close, wow. Two schools combined, racked up 55 titles. St. John's had 34, and St. Thomas had, had 21. <laughs> All right, next question. There has been 11 games in the last 10 years between your two schools. What is the head-to-head -head record? What? These will get harder, guys, as we go. Yeah, okay. All right, so, Sam, it was six and five. And Dom went with six and four St. Thomas. I at least have 11, I think. <laughs> yeah, you have 11. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, I thought I didn't know if it's 10 games, 10 years, but 10 years, I guess, is 11. So Sam, you get the point. All right. Getting a bunch of texts. We, we cannot be phoning friends in this, I'm sorry. That, that does not include. Well, I know, I know. <laughs> Lifelines over here. <laughs> Number nine. This past NFL draft, St. John's offensive tackle, 
Ben Barnes was drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars. What overall draft pick was he selected? Jeez. I think the pressure's on Dom here. That's his team. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. Dom? That's a lot of pressure. It is. Got this, though. Come on. I I do think I know this, just because that's what I hope I know this. Dom's feeling good. Sam, I haven't heard much from you. We'll see. Okay. I have a general idea. Fourth round, for sure. Okay, here we go. Let's let's do the answers, boys. Let's go with Sam first. Dom, don't show your answer yet. All right. We'll make this a little bit more interesting. I had 108. 108. Okay, 108. All right, Dom. Pressure's on. Let's go. 116. Was he right? Yes, he was. Oh. Yeah. Let's I would go. Hope so. so, Dom, now you need to get this one so we can make it a tie so we can go into some bonus questions. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go number 10. Before Ben Barch was drafted, when was the last time a Mayak player was taken in the NFL draft? So, again, we're looking for a year. I know who it was. I just don't know what year. <laughs> well, Okay, we're, we're gonna go again with Sam first since, uh, Dom, you need this point since to go into overtime here. So, uh, Sam, let's see what you got. I think it was 2006, the guy from Gustavus, he was Mr. Irrelevant. I think that, that's the line of thinking I'm going under. Okay, 2006, Dom, what do you, what do you got? I just, I just wrote 1993, it seems like a nice tweener year. But Sam's probably closer. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yes, it's gotta be. <laughs> Final answer was 2003, which means okay. Sam, Rob, St. Thomas, you are our winner. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, great. This is what this is what I exactly what I wanted. This is, yeah. Give him the dream right why now. you play? Go this on. is why we play. <laughs> Congrats, Sam. Thanks, Dom. Until next time. <laughs>